You got to go tie dye tonight, don't you? My God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My van and <clears throat> crazy game. I was concerned about fly balls going to be lost in the fog. It hasn't happened since uh, 1984. We're playing in Kenosha with Peoria, and we lost the game on a ball in the fog. I swear. Bases loaded. Duffy Dyer's managing Kenosha. Their guy hits a pop up. Our guy can't see it. I couldn't get the umpires to call it off. So, yeah, I was I definitely had. Uh, Visions of like the birds and in Kenosha, same thing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we we did tonight. Um, we did. We played well offensively. I, I you know their pitcher has been going good, Vargas, and I I like him. You know he he knows what he's doing out there. We just had really good at bats. Zo had a pretty decent night. Um, up and down. I mean Addison, of course, came through when it mattered again. Um, Rossi good at bats. Scott Rossi great behind the plate. Uh, Johnny didn't have his best thing going on today, but fought through six, which we really needed to try to parcel together the bullpen tonight. There was not, it was not a real good flow among the, about the bullpen. I was just trying to figure it out because the normal uh, people were not uh, readily available. I didn't want Stropy to go with the five run lead. There was all kinds of little nuance to that. So at the end of the night, though, how about Ronnie? That's outstanding. I mean, he went out there like a uh, big league closer man and, and did his job. It was out, outstanding to watch. So how, what is the dynamic of life for you now? You really didn't have a lot of run production in Tampa. Uh, most of the <clears throat> how, how different is that for you all together? Do they have this much run production? Well, you, uh, about, I don't know, when, whenever we had five runs, I looked up and I said, we got five runs. <laughs> you know, it's like, whoa, uh, it's unusual. Uh, today, the elements, I think, you know, there was a couple home runs that they did it. But you saw we hit line drive. We had base hits all over the place. That's the difference between last year and this year regarding scoring runs. We're really good at moving the baseball right now. But it, it's, a, it's a different thing to, I don't want to say come to expect that. I just come to expect good at bats. And then the residues runs. I mean, Dexter sets the tone always. I think, I think Jason's looking better at the plate right now. KB continues. Riz up and down. Uh, they all look really, really good right now. So it's... When you're able to give up seven and win, it's a pretty good thing. You mentioned Zill four for four. Is this as locked in as, uh, as you've seen him before? I've seen him really good. I can't deny that. I've seen him really good. I, uh, it's just his t the whole bounce. Uh, you don't, he doesn't look 34, whatever he is right now. He's out there bouncing around. You should watch him on the bunt defenses when he's getting around the first base behind the runner, how well he's moving. Uh, he's just moving well. He's, he's, he's moving. He's He's playing at the that is the highest level I've ever seen him play. I can't say I've seen better. Um, I've just seen I've seen good. I mean that's the point. I've seen Zoe really good, and he's really good right now. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he should not have come. What happened? Uh, ball was hit, and I was watching. I just happened to see because it was right in front of me. Javi didn't get a good break. Javi wasn't sure what was going on, which is unusual for him. So he doesn't really go. And then he he's, he hesitates, and Jonesy did the right thing. And at that point, it's you know the, the trail runner. It's like when you're driving, you got to keep your head up. And so he he just didn't. Um, that's it. Uh, he just didn't. You're always you always talk to the runners about you know watching the guy in front of you. Always he just didn't do it. With the bullpen, is it one of those situations where like you always say you just manage for today, or can you look forward to the doubleheader and kind of after? The well, I was trying to. <laughs> You know, when you get that kind of a lead, you don't want to lose that game. Um, you don't want to lose any game. But um, there's, you know, I definitely did not want to get to Warren tonight, to be quite frank. I didn't want to do that. Otherwise, the other guys were in play. Um, uh, and, 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 you know, between Stropy and Rondon, I didn't want to use one or the other. But Stropy only threw three or four pitches max, so he's going to be good. Ronnie didn't throw that many pitches either. There's a day of coming up. The, the following day. So it's a doubleheader tomorrow, I know. Uh, we'll do the best that we can. It, the, the, the fact that we've won so many games recently and these guys have participated, it's just you're going to get a fatigued bullpen. I just have to, we have to keep an eye on that tomorrow and just try to do our best. Can you tell us who you bring it tomorrow? Or? Have we said that yet? Uh, we haven't. We haven't. So you've got a couple different. I, 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 I no. <laughs> Right. Uh, then he ropes a double. He's playing all over. How much does he force your hand going forward to keep playing 
Um, not really. I mean, they all have to play. Um, he's among the, the group that's going to play. Soler's got to play. I got to keep Tommy fresh also. Um, you'll see him out there often, and it's not just about offense. Uh, it's, it's his defense that really like gets him on the field a lot too. Quite frankly, he started tonight's game based on defense, and then also he was a good matchup with this pitcher. Uh, I don't really um, think that way. Uh, we have it set up a certain way. I think if we continue to do that, you're going to see him continue to play well. You're going to get Soler playing well. You're going to get Tommy playing well. Uh, if we continue to rotate it around, I, the threat would be if you just let people all of a sudden sit, and just for the just because one guy's played well recently, I think you're going to uh, you could eventually hurt the other guys. So uh, there's always been talk about losing streaks weighing on teams. Is it possible a winning streak can weigh on a team? I know it sounds ridiculous. <clears throat> I'm not feeling it honestly. I'm not. The guys don't uh, show that the the, the chirping is good. Um, you know, it got a little bit tighter than usual at the end of the game, but there comes Ronnie out of the bullpen and strains the whole thing out. That's that's what guys like that do. Um, when you have really high-end relief pitchers that are able to take a chaotic situation and bring it back to earth, and Stropy did it. I mean, with um, uh, he comes up with Myers, and I mean, I I thought at the beginning of the game they Padres had really good at bats the first time through the batting order. Concerned me a little bit because Johnny had really worked for his outs. So as the game got deeper, and I know Will and I know BJ. BJ looks outstanding right now. So I, I know these guys, and so you can't, you know, you got to put Stropy on their better guys right there in that particular. I can't wait. There's no waiting. And he did. He gets the ground ball. And again, if you just play the whole thing out, if we make the play at third, then maybe Dickinson never gets up to the plate. You know, just you know, counting the numbers. So those. That's why you have to make plays that you're supposed to make. So then you prevent other guys from coming to the plate. He's fine. He was, I mean, yeah, again, one guy had to be relief, um, excuse me, extra inning. That was him. Now, had we, had we maintained the eight, what was it, eight to two, right? No, eight to three lead, he would have pitched the ninth inning. That was the whole plan to go grim to him after he got stroke. I wanted to go grim to Ramirez. Didn't play out that way. Happens. Um, I know that, um, He's um, could be better against lefties than righties. He's got a lot of reverse in him. Um, I, I, I know he's pitched really well for them. That's pretty much. I mean, you know, typically that's the different kind of stuff, um, different kind of pitches that he has. But the the thing that stood out was that he was kind of said somewhat of a reverse split about him.